Hi guys, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and it's Wee Wednesday. W-E-E -E Wednesday. The day that I take a look at a small knife. Tiny knife, maybe. Keychain knife. Little knife. Itty bitty knife. This is the San Renmu, as we can see with the name right there. Excuse me. San Renmu 4059, and uh, we've got a tiny little you know, almost two inch blade here. And, uh, you know, G10, you know, all the good materials. Well, the steel's seven, uh, sorry, eight CR 14 MOV, but it's a decent little knife. And if you're interested in little knives at all, stick around and we'll take a good look at this 4059 by San Renmu. Hi guys, it's Jake here from Canadian Cutting Edge, and today we're going to take a look at a tiny knife. This time we've got a knife by San Renmu, just like most other times, because they do have a large selection of Wii knives. And uh, it's Wii Wednesday, where we take a look at Wii knives. E if you're interested at all in little knives, like I am, even if you're not quite as interested in them or like them as much as I do, I think you'll find them interesting because a small knife is a really good thing to put on your keychain if you're in a jurisdiction where they're not gonna take away your little knife, which is kind of rare. So why don't you stick around and we'll take a good close look at this little knife. The first thing that we'll do is we're gonna do a couple little size comparisons to get us started. It is a small knife, but it's not a super tiny knife. Uh, what we have here is the Victorinox Classic. Now that is a very tiny knife. And uh, what we have here is the Kershaw Cryo, the smallest one. But what we have to look at today is, you know, right in between those two, I consider it a small knife, a wee knife, and uh, let's dive right in. So I'll uh, stop to a, uh, a screen right now where I'll show you all the specs and the dimensions and the weights and stuff. Can you believe it? On such a tiny little knife, they went ahead and put in a sharpener's choil. I think that's a great thing. It really aids in uh, sharpening to keep the end nice and crisp and clean and you know sharp and everything. We've got... Um, a knife that has a, a nice um, drop point. Oh, that, that should be that angle right there. Nice drop point, and then we've got a swedge going along there. So, you know, with that thin edge on the top, it's not going to be that great for batoning. And, um, but we've got uh, a big, deep belly, so it'll be good for skinning rats, mice, and such. Yes, I'm being facetious here. Come on, guys. Um, it's just a wee little blade, isn't it? We've got a pocket clip, and that's uh, a very functional pocket clip. It um, still leaves, you know, half an inch, a little bit more maybe, sticking out of your pocket if you use it that way. If you're like me, this pocket clip is going to be gone as soon as this review's over, and I'll be putting a ring, uh, one of those split rings, through this lanyard hole, and it will be one of my keychain EDCs. What I do is I, I do that with all my little, my little, my tiny knives that I have, and I rotate them through my, uh, with my keychain. You know, every week or so, I'll switch it out and put a different one on, just for variety, because I like to have a small knife with me pretty much all the time. All right, what we've got is a knife that's available in two different colors, and it's not the handle that changes colors, it's the blade. You can get it in this satin finish, or you can get it with a coated blade. Let's get into some cut tests to see how good this thing performs. Let's try something really, really thin and light, like really light receipt paper. And uh, let's try just some regular uh, copy paper. Let's try to cut some paracord, and this is just like 
two times. Cuts through that very easily. Uh, let's see how well it slices through paracord. No problem at all once I get the angle right. We've got a very huge belly on that knife. Uh, what this stuff? If you've been watching my reviews lately, you've seen this stuff. It's uh, you know, it's a fairly thick wire. So this wire is fairly thick and heavy, and you can see there's like a green, red, and white wire in there. There's some heavy sheathing there. There's this other thick stuff, wire, fabric stuff in there. All kinds of things that you have to cut through. San Renmu just does it again. They know how to sharpen this really light steel very well. We've got a nice deep hollow grind, a very thin leading edge all the way along. I really like how this knife feels in the hand, but got all that texture on it, and it's got the, the thickness this way from the spine to the... Um, the belly of the handle if you will and that extra size there helps you get really good purchase with your hand i i've got a large size hand and i get a strong three finger grip uh, there's no jimping at the top here it doesn't really need it because it's wide enough and you've got a lot of uh, purchase there to hold this knife to do all the kinds of cutting that you're going to need to do um, and you could easily add a lanyard back here if you wanted to to get yourself a nice strong four finger grip to do that cutting uh, but the belly on this knife just wants to slice things. It just wants to cut through and, you know, it does a really, really good job of it. I'm quite happy with how they made this. Um, 8CR14 MOV is a steel that is, I think, um, starting to rather rapidly, I think, replace 8CR13 MOV in China. I think, I don't know why they're finding the 14 to be a preferred steel, but it is um, increasing in usage quite a bit. Um, just the basic looks of this knife. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer to get a bit of a close up here. So just how that kit, that um, knife looks, um, they've done a really good job on the design of this thing. Um, I like the, uh, the general shape of it. Um, I like the comfort in the hand. I like this wavy milled out lines in here. I like this extra, you know, it's not a deep finger toil for your first index finger there, but it's um, certainly nice enough to help you get a really good grip on the knife. And, um, and then it just slowly gets thicker towards the back, which also helps with the purchase on there. Sam Ren Mu has done a really good job with uh, little knives. I love collecting little knives, but I've got a problem with finding some more. If you guys know of another company that's making a good number of, of tiny knives, other than Victorinox and, and that style of knife, I'm talking about this style of folder, uh, please let me know. I'm, I'm, you know, because I'm so into those knives for two reasons. They look great. They're functional. And uh, actually a third reason, budget. And, uh, you know, once you got those three, three, three things met, you've got a really nice little knife. This back lock locks up rock solid. There's no play on the knife up or down, um, side to side. There's no wiggleness at all. Wiggleness. I'm making up new words every time I talk. So if you like this video, please click on like. Even if you don't want the knife, uh, please click on like. Uh, if you know anybody that likes little knives, share with them. Put uh, any comments you have in the comment section, any questions. And please subscribe. That really helps me an awful lot. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. If you want to buy this knife, there'll be a link in the description below uh, for this knife or the one with the black coat uh, from Gearbest. If you use those links, you'll get the lowest price that they have and I'll get a tiny commission. And that helps me out a whole lot with uh, keeping this channel going. So thank you so much. And remember, always cut towards your chum, that is your friend, and not your thumb.